Great to have everyone with us. We're heading out to Temple, Pennsylvania for our very first artist tonight here on the program. She is a contemporary Christian singer-songwriter from southeastern Pennsylvania. Her songs are described as inspirational, situational, pulling from experiences and everyday struggles while providing encouragement for believers. She has written close to 100 songs, I think, now, and she has released a seventh album, April 9th of 2022. I think she's released an eighth album since then, and I already know that because I was emceeing for it a month or two ago. After singing all her life in church, choir, uh, school chorus, musicals, she started writing her own original music and performing in 2006, heading into her 18th year. After releasing several projects herself, she formed a band with her family called Benign Fate. I'll be darn. Through which she released one album. She eventually started playing again under her own name and released Send Me, Remade, Great Adventure. Uh, she's, she has been releasing music as singles, as a lot of artists have done since Great Adventure. She has co-written songs with Tim Timmons. Uh, of course, uh, her frequent collaborator, Jesse J. Also, uh, Ross King and a bunch of other folks. The songs on her albums showcase her maturity as a singer-songwriter. She truly has found her voice as a Christian artist and started writing songs that are capturing new fans across the globe. The albums are pretty much all available on CD, all online music, such as iTunes, uh, Apple Music, uh, Amazon, all streaming services, Spotify, Amazon, Google Play, uh, her own independent record label. Publishing Imprint is handling the release of all new music. Uh, She is touring, of course, across Pennsylvania and across the Northeast area, always in support of her music. Uh, She is a great friend to both uh, Red Zoom Entertainment and of Christian Media Spotlight over the last number of years. We're so honored to start this New Year's extravaganza with our good friend, Yvonne Hartman. Yvonne, good evening to you. Happy New Year. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Happy New Year. I'm so excited to be here tonight. Yeah, you've, uh, of course, did a new, um, uh, of course, I was out there in Pennsylvania just about a couple of months ago now. But, well, almost two months. Yeah, in the back of November, November, early November. 11th, yeah. Uh, you've done several uh, you know, performances and stuff since then. What has uh, musically been going on new with you here in the last little bit? Well, um, I really actually had a quiet December this year. Um, I, I had some online concerts. I just had a concert with Rick Ross. He's going to be on later. Um, we did that on Friday night. Um, but since my CD party, I've been kind of laying low. And um, I've had off work the last week plus a little bit. Um, so I've been trying to kind of, you know, recharge my batteries and everything. And we had um, two Christmases here. And we also had hosted Thanksgiving. So it's been a, a busy fall. <laughs> so the, the recharge was, was, was by design, essentially. Yes. Absolutely. So are, are we'll the batteries almost uh, back up some... to fully charged? What's that? Are the batteries almost back up to fully charged? Uh, I, I certainly hope so, because I go back to work on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so... Fun stuff. You've got one more day to charge them. One more yep. day. Yep. Yvonne Hartman is with us from Temple, Pennsylvania, just a wonderful area out there. I've been out there numerous times. Uh, uh, been out to, man, two of her release parties now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic stuff out there. I always enjoy being out there. Uh, she's got a five-song set for us tonight. Yvonne, why don't you lead us into song one? What do we have for us tonight? Okay, we have a song called Life is Lovely. It is the title track of my last CD. You can see my my uh, CD party poster right behind me for Life is Lovely. I also have yeah. Walking on Water and the Christmas CD that I released <laughs> last year. Um, so this one is, this song is about, um, there's there's a lot of people struggling with anxiety and depression, including my kids have had struggles with this. And I think it's really tough for kids today because they see Facebook and Instagram and all that and all their friends look like they have their their lives all together and it's all perfect. And they can't understand why their life is maybe not so perfect. And, um, you know, it's really hard. And us as Christians, we should we should know that, you know, if Jesus is in our heart and he's our savior, that, you know, life can be lovely after all. I know, you know, God never told us we wouldn't go through trials and tribulations. Um, he's just going to be there to help us through it. So this song is called Life is Lovely. Keep on heart written by Jesse J, by the way. Lovely 
or so they say But I'm hiding the pain Put on a smile Hide the tears Pretend that everything Everything's okay Try to find Peace on my own My heart is hard as a stone I search for answers They're hard to find I'm losing faith Losing my mind I cry out to you Lord But the truth is I'm hurting inside I wish that I So it seems, yeah. Life is lovely, or so it seems. Life is lovely, and I am blessed, but my heart is a wreck. I try to find good in everything, but the pain just never leaves. Struggling to cope, to find a rock to hold. I need a savior, a light in the dark. I need God to heal my heart. I cry out to you, Lord. But the truth is, I'm hurting inside. I wish that I. Yvonne Hartman there. Life is lovely. Fantastic track there, Yvonne. Always great to hear that one. One of the uh, favorites on our radio network in 2023 as well. A number of tracks have done really well on there this year, actually. Um, Daniel Curtis, watching from Nashville, Tennessee. Happy New Year to you as well. Olga, nice to see you. She says, nice synthesizer on that one. This track is so cool. Um, Rick Ross, it's a great song, Yvonne. Um, <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Uh, great song, sounding great, Yvonne. Aaron Vaughn Graham, yes, indeed. Rick Ross says we're getting a little replay of Friday nights. Yeah, <laughs> Olga says life is lovely after all. Oh, yes, indeed. Fantastic stuff there. Thanks everybody for watching. If you're tuning in on Zoom or on Facebook, happy new year to all of you as we close out 2023. And roll into 2024 on both coasts tonight. We're not leaving anyone out of the party here in the U.S. tonight. Yvonne is with us. Uh, Life is lovely. We have song number two now. What do we have as an encore to that one there, Yvonne? Well, we're going to keep rolling with A Better Place. And um, this was also co-written by Jesse J. And I will mention that the producer on these two was Brian Bolivar, um, who's really done a great thing for my ministry um, I think he has his really, um, he's like, he's seen more of my vision and like kind of my, more of my style, like what I'd like to, what I want to be. Um, so 
these last several songs that I've released have been by him. And so they've just been great. Is he, is he going to be producing a lot of your stuff going forward? Probably. Yes, he is. Yeah. I've switched producers now. So, all right. Very so nice. I have a scripture for this one. It's, it's John 14, two and three it says my father's house has many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you that I'm going there to put, to re to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you with me that you also may be where I am. And I, I do a lot of concerts at Hope Rescue Mission in Reading, and I do free concerts for the men there. It's a, it's a men's shelter. And I always think of them with this song because, you know, we were, we were studying John, and this is one of the things that our pastor had, had talked about. And, you know, this world is not our home. You know, God has a better place for us. And if you know Christ is your savior, you're gonna to go to that better place. And so, like I said before, God never said that we would not have trials and tribulations here in this earth. Um, that's because of our, our sin, our sin nature. And so we have the hope of looking forward to heaven and that better place. I am broken. It's not where I want to be, split wide open for everyone to see. I just can't see that things are getting better when I am broken. When I'm broken, when I'm broken. This place that I'm in is not where I'm gonna land. God has a better place in store. Far from where I've been. Much better plan. God has a better place in store. This word has spoken. This is what I read. I am chosen. And He set me free. Now I can see that things are getting better because He has spoken. This place that I'm in is not where I'm gonna land. God has a better place in store. Far from where I've been, a much better plan. God has a better place in store. So many times I am tempted to think that this is all there is. in store far from where i've been a much better plan god has a better place in store this place that i'm in is not where i'm gonna land god has a better place in store far from where i've been a much better plan god a better place in store. God has a better place in store. God has a better place in store for me. He has that better place for you as well. That is Yvonne Hartman, Better Place. Both tracks produced by Brian, Brian Bull over there. We're heading out of 2023, heading into 2024. What does the new year hope to have in store for you, Yvonne, musically? What do you hope to accomplish here in the new year? Wow, I'm hoping to release some more music. Um, <laughs> uh, we are working, Jesse J and I are working on a song right now for a friend of mine from work. He asked me to write a song for her. For, to dance with her stepson at his upcoming wedding in 2025. 
Um, so we've been working on that and we have another co-write scheduled for this week. We're kind of almost done with the song, but not quite. We're kind of mm -hmm. like working on the bridge yet. Um, but it's be, it's really coming together cool. So hopefully that will be coming out. Um, I have a whole bunch of other songs that, um, like we never recorded yet. So I, I'm not sure how many of those I'm going to record and which ones. Um, I'm being a little bit more picky because, um, it's costing me like twice what it used to cost for me to produce the songs. So, um, anyway, I'm just trying to be a little bit more picky. So, but I, I'd like to, um, um, there's a guy that schedules me up in like Northern Pennsylvania area, the Poconos area. And he called me the other day and he's going to schedule me for some stuff this year and, um, hopefully hit all my, um, hit all my regulars, you know, the place, the places that I usually go. Plus probably a lot of, uh, Hope Rescue Mission. And, um, they talked about having me play at the new lighthouse, which is the women's shelter. They just opened over at Hope Rescue Mission as well. So. Those are a couple Fantastic. of things that are coming down the road. Great uh, work that you do over there at the Hope Rescue Mission and, and things like that. And Jesse J, I think, probably is one of your frequent collaborators. What do you enjoy most about working uh, with him? Do you just have similar kind of writing styles? Does he catch your vision of your music? What's your favorite thing about doing a lot of these co-writes? Yeah, I think we really um, we really write well together. I'm not sure exactly why, but we do. Um, I guess we do have similar styles. That's one. Um, but I think we each teach each other things as well. And we also, um, you know, we're, we're good at kind of like taking a, an idea and, you know, coming up with some great lyrics and, you know, we'll be like, oh, I think this word needs to change, or I think that word needs to change, or let's flip this around. And, and we, we do really good, like bouncing ideas off of each other and, and kind of, um, molding the song into its final form. So, um, I don't know. I think we just really work well together and we just keep writing songs. So it's been great. Holy D says, uh, love it, Yvonne. So uplifting. We'll hear from her a little bit later on this evening. Song three, Yvonne, what do we got for us tonight? I'm going to do, um, the day the Lord is made and it's based on Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Now this song was written at a Brian Bolivar writing retreat and it was done online and i got to write this song with ross king and danita dawn herringer and gary wayne white um so we had four co-writers on this song and um it's based really based on that verse and i think it came together really cool this was the first time i had written to a thing they call a top line where he had several different kind of like rough background tracks for us to write to and then um we picked we actually wrote two songs that day um and we picked one of them and we kind of wrote a song to it so the next song that i'm gonna sing after this one is called this is my why and we had gone back to brian and said you know like hey we'd like to do that again can you do a, a top line for us and then he said um well what would you mean like what kind of song would you like it to sound like and i gave him some references and so you'll hear this is my why next um but that was my latest and that's was also done to a top line which is kind of a it's kind of a um, different way of, of writing a song, but it's actually kind of fun because you can kind of fit the song to the vibe of like the background Great. instead of fitting the background to the lyrics. So it's just a different kind way of a creatively it, challenging fun. thing, I would imagine, as a songwriter, isn't it? Pushing the uh, it it the is. Envelope now bit. we did have the idea for the song. The the idea came from um, a, a a lesson that my pastor did at church. Um, which a lot of the ideas come from, <laughs> from my songs. And um, we kind of said, oh, like, this is the idea. This is what we want to write about. And then, um, like, the the track that he did for us, you know, it kind of had, a, a, you could tell there was a verse, and then you could tell, like, kind of where the chorus was and what the bridge was supposed to be, like the different, um, you know, like, sounding sections. Um, and we had to kind of move some things around and, like, have them shorten someplace and, you know, make others longer and, you know, to fit the song, but it was, it was different, um, to write that way, but it was actually kind of cool. So I don't know, maybe we'll do it again. We'll see. And this is called the, the uh, Yvonne the Hartman. Made. This is the day the Lord has made right here. Open up my eyes. 
Sunlight comes streaming in Overwhelmed by life Before the day begins Help me put my faith in you So I can make it through To worship you And stand upon your truth so I will take some time to say This is the day the Lord has made Let us rejoice, give Him the praise This is His day, the day the Lord has made When I close my eyes Lord, I can see your face You are my life You are the truth, the only way Help me put my faith in you So I can make it through To worship you and stand upon your truth so I will take some time to say This is the day the Lord has made Let us rejoice, give Him the praise This is the day, the day the Lord has made And I will be glad in it Lord, you have made this day Some time to say This is the day The Lord has made Let us rejoice Give Him the praise This is His day The day the Lord has made And I will be glad in it The day the Lord has made And I will be glad the day the Lord has made It's trying to let Red know I was going to a PC. Can we flip me? Flip me, flip me, flip me. Oh, you're echoing. Echoing, echoing, echoing. <laughs> Red. Red. What's what's the matter? Do we know? We're having technical difficulties, I believe. I don't know what's going on with his echoing. Well, I can go on and talk about my next song if you'd like. No, right, I entered. Well, okay, one second. Let's see what's going on. He's switching devices. Oh, okay. Okay, so how about if I talk about There we about go. He, did, he didn't catch that I joined in as a... Uh, I think he's back on. He didn't catch that I joined in on a PC, so he didn't... <laughs> I was trying to alert him before I hit enter in, but it didn't work. So that's that's why you heard the the echoing there for a quick second because I couldn't uh. I couldn't figure out how to turn the volume down on this thing quick enough. So there you go. Sorry about that there. Okay. Uh, Yvonne Arvin is with us here on this edition of Red's Room. Now we referenced uh, this is my why here a second ago. This is your latest one um, okay. off of your brand new release. Congratulations on that. That came out okay. um, just you know a month and change ago not even two months ago yep. this is the latest song that she is in support of um and this one tell us the story behind this one as well because this was uh another co-write and uh inspired again by another uh you wanted to go back and revisit this one this is another top line song 
Tell us yeah. about the inspiration behind this one. So this is my why, and this was based upon, um, we were we we're going through the book of John in church, and when we got to the end of the book of John, John 20, 30, and 31 says, Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, and that by believing you may have life in his name. So Jesus died and paid the penalty for us. And if you know Jesus as your savior, he is your purpose. He is your reason. He is your why. You know, this was the re John's why, why he wrote that gospel is so that we would read those stories and we would believe in Jesus as the Messiah. So he is the reason that we praise and when, the reason that we lift our voices and the reason that we sing. So this is my why. Amen. Daniel Curtis said, just gave you a follow, Yvonne. Thank you, uh, cool. Thank you. for the great music. Uh, says uh, Daniel Curtis tonight. Today, Deborah Scott says, "Hey everyone, we're able to join in for a bit. Hallelujah! Happy New Year, 2024! Beautiful music. Thank you everybody for tuning in tonight. This is my why. Here it is, Yvonne Hartman. Now, as we continue this Red Zoom and Christian Media Spotlight New Year's extrav." Storms and trials, I will stand tall. Your love, my rock, I won't let it fall. Arms open wide, love pure and true. I found my purpose, and I knew this is my why. This is who I am. I'll do everything I can. Everything I do, I do it for you. Died for me, and I knew this is my why. You are my God, I'll rise from the dust. You are my way, in you I trust. Through the valleys low and the mountains high, I lift my hands to the sky. This is my why, this is who I am. I'll do everything I can Everything I do, I do it for you You died for me and I knew This is my why This is my why, my eternal hymn I live my life for you and live again I'll praise you, Lord, till the day I die. I can't deny this is my why. This is who I am. I'll do everything I can. Everything I do, I do it for you. You died for me and I knew this is my why. This is who I am. I'll do everything I can, everything I do, I do it for you. You died for me and I knew, this is my why. This is my why, Yvonne Hartman right here as we continue this Christian Media Spotlight Reds Room extravaganza on this New Year's six plus hours of music, of messages, celebrating midnight on both coasts tonight. Thank you very much for being here tonight for all of you. Happy New Year to all of you wherever you are celebrating. And if you are watching us in part tonight, thank you for making us a part of your celebration tonight uh, here on cms we're taking you through the first three hours and of course red's room red has booked a lot of great artists for the west coast portion as well thank you all for being here tonight alan celestine happy new year to you thank you for watching of course tasha fetter is watching out there we'll have nate coming up for you in just a little while olga thank you for tuning in thank you so much beautiful stuff says deborah simple and beautiful says olga thank you. Mm -hmm. good stuff um rick ross says i also wrote a song called this is the day referencing psalm 118 24 love your version yvonne yes oh, indeed good stuff there uh as we head into our uh next tune 
what how has the lord you would say evolved your music you're heading in of course to was this the 18th year of ministry and music congratulations so, so, oh, for doing it that long and for doing it with excellence and always striving to continue to improve and to just be excellent where you are and just involved in many different things and serving such as hope rescue mission the many places that you serve and, and volunteer at and stuff like that how would you say the lord has evolved your music stylistically from the time you started really up until now yeah you know back in the day when i first started playing out i didn't play an instrument before and um so i learned the guitar later in life and i had i had been singing in church um and they didn't have a choir when i was young i had choir we had choir all the way since i was like knee high to a grasshopper and all the way up through um our college years and then when my son was born um, and he was young, we had switched churches and, um, I started getting into contemporary Christian music. And, um, so I started getting more and more into that. And what I was doing at that church was I was singing to background tracks. I would purchase background tracks off of the internet and sing to those. And that church was very conservative and they didn't like the drums. So some of the songs that I wanted to sing, they wouldn't let me sing. And they said, well, if you would play guitar or if you would have live instruments, you know, you could sing that song because the, the lyrics are great. We just don't like the drums. And so basically I picked up the guitar so that I could sing what I wanted to sing. And which some of the songs are just amazing, you know, and just because they have drums in them, I couldn't sing them. So basically that was why I picked up the guitar. Um, that and my dad always played guitar as long as I can remember remember and i have fond memories of him and his friends singing around the campfire at home and um i always wanted to play guitar i wish i would have picked it up earlier in my life i'd probably be better at it by now but i did learn it as an adult and then um in about 2007 i started writing my own music 2006 is when i started my ministry and that was really only about like maybe two years after i started playing guitar and i started actually performing out which was crazy i look back and i'm like ah um, but a lot of my early stuff isn't that great. My first album, I won't sell to anybody anymore because I don't want them to hear it. <laughs> I don't think you'll find it online anywhere. <laughs> you know, so, somewhere uh, it but, says, don't discount, don't discount your humble beginnings. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you, know. you, gotta, you gotta start somewhere. Right? You do, you do. <laughs> so I think over the years, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I go to songwriting workshops. I go to um, like Nashville every once in a while and I try to keep getting better at my my craft and I think this co-writing stuff that I've just started in the last couple of years has really helped me because I've seen how other people write songs and how um, you know like, like some of the tricks of the trade and like how just kind of like when I when I first started I used to like I would have this chord progression and my my melody would really stick to the chord progression and you know that made kind of for boring songs um so now if you hear my songs they're like kind of they, they go up above the you know the chord progression they'll go down below and you know different kinds of stuff so they're not really they're they're a lot better well more crafted than they used to be so that's just been kind of like my growth over the 18 years um so hopefully that it's fantastic and it's it's <laughs> fantastic to see and just in the three or four years that uh myself and cms have been a part of, it's just just amazing just to see the the growth and just the the musical creativity even in the last three or four years that has happened in that time frame it's fantastic just to see it grow and continue to reach new hearts and new listeners and it's great to come alongside of that and Yvonne's got one more song for us tonight. What is the last tune you've got for us this evening? Well, since we just got done with Christmas, I thought I would sing my Christmas song that I released last year. I did do a Christmas album, an EP. That was this CD party. Um, and I did four originals, which three of them were older. Um, and then Go Tell It, I actually wrote last year, and we released an album of Christmas music, and I did a cover of Oh Holy Night as well. Um, so this song was inspired by Go Tell It on the Mountain, and I was going to put that on the CD as a cover song and ended up writing a new song. It's very, um, fairly similar to Go Tell It on the Mountain, um, but it came out like kind of totally different. And so it's called Go Tell It. 
it's a cool thing. Indeed. Fantastic. It's done so well for us in our Christmas programming this year. Um, su such fantastic version. And of course, I have a Christmas tree behind me. It's not, it's, it's still yes. technically the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> technically. And I mean, I people Christmas don't know the 12 days of Christmas season. starts on Christmas Day. So that's right. We're, we're technically <laughs> still on the season if you if you go by that. So there you go. Go All tell right. it, Devon Hartman, right now as we continue our New Year's extravaganza here on Red Room and CMS. and everything hey man go tell it yvonne hartman right here that's our that's part of our prayer for you all in uh, 2024 uh that's kind of what's been hard to tell people as well is uh, you know december 26th at midnight you know generally we front love the holiday so much from the 26th radio station stop playing christmas music right at midnight we're in such a hurry to <laughs> get the holiday done with right on the 26th Watch your hands it. We're done. <laughs> On to New Year's. But, you know, the, the Christmas season really highlights at times the good of humanity. Sometimes when all eyes, including the world's, are on the birth of Christ, is on the season, is on being intentional. But what do we do after the holiday? What do we do now that Christmas has passed? Do we just push it aside till next year like what the world does sometimes? Hey. Or do we find a way to continue to be the light, to shine it like a, a our, our candles brightly, like a city on a hill, as it says? Do we continue to love and to serve others well all year round? Because as Christians, that should be the focus. It's all year round. We should be the light of Christ, letting our light shine before all men, getting out there and loving people and serving people and really not letting the joy that happens 
this this time of year don't let it go out just because christmas is done and passed we're supposed to keep that light keep that joy all throughout the remainder of the year another thing i rem and so with that in mind yvonne tell us where we can find your music and really if we want to keep this encouragement going where we can find you on the streaming services your website to all those informations where we can catch up with you um, as we uh, wish to during this coming year well, the first place is my website is www.yvonnehartman.com. Pretty simple. Um, hopefully you can see my name somewhere here. If it's not down on the bottom, you can see like these up here, see my name. I know my name's kind of hard to spell, at least the first name. Um, so yvonnehartman.com. Um, I'm also on Spotify and um, iTunes, Amazon Music, um, Pandora, YouTube. Like it, it gets sent out to like 60 plus stores so almost any streaming site will have you'll be able to find me on it so you know if you um if you have those things that you use instead of cds you can go stream me on those sites or or download you know my songs um i do have cds and i also do usb drives um that have digital music on it plus extra content i usually include the chord charts so if you're interested in playing any of my songs um, you can order a USB drive off my website and that has PDFs of all of my chord charts for the um, for this the USB for that album so I have one for life is lovely and I have one for um, walking on water those are the two that I have right now so oh, and they're two different USB drives so anyway it's, that's uh... the main places that you can find me um my website has all kinds of merch for sale you can check out CDs USB drives shirts t-shirts sweatshirts all kinds of stuff there's even jackets and mugs and everything so indeed good stuff, stuff there i could check out our website i could check out the streaming services and go and be blessed and encouraged by her great music um pauline campos good evening to you brian Irwin managed to get here for this one we're so glad you're here brian welcome in rick ross yeah our commission go tell it that go jesus it. is alive that is and our great commission all year round 365 days Amen. <laughs> Amen. All year round. Carl Williams, what's up? Beautiful song, he says. Enjoying the music. Yes. Uh, Daniel Curtis, yeah, tell it. Just tell the world what Jesus did for you. Amen to that. Zachary Sharon, good evening to you. Hello to everyone watching us uh, out there tonight. Let us pray for Yvonne tonight before we continue forward this evening. Lord, we just thank you for Yvonne. We thank you for her great music. We thank you that you will continue to expand her sphere of influence and continue to bless her personally and professionally as we head into this brand new year of 2024. Continue to fill her heart with great songs with her and her co-writers that will continue to uplift and encourage and continue to impact the masses that it needs to reach here in, in these days that we live in. And we just thank you for her shining her light, not only in the Pennsylvania area where she tours and throughout the great Northeast, but as the music goes forth on platforms like this and on different radio stations, we thank you that her music is having an impact not only nationwide, but worldwide as well for everyone who needs to hear. We just thank you. We just praise you for everything that you're doing and Yvonne uh, and in, in her ministries that she's involved in with Hope Rescue Mission and all those different ministries that she continues to serve in as well as her church. And we just thank you that you're continuing to just have a great impact. Um, and we thank you for being here tonight, starting off this great New Year's extravaganza. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for all these things. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Yvonne. For... I, just, I will note on Spotify, Life is Lovely is up over 6,000 streams. Woo! Woo just in the short time that Keep it has it been going. out, congratulations. Yep. Go give the, that Spotify some love. Uh, yep. Help increase it by a few thousand. Let's go. Over 6,000. Yeah. Congratulations. This is my why has only been out since november 10th and that's up at about 1200 right now so there you go good stuff there it's the continuing to get out there uh thank you for just your friendship your, your, your family is absolutely wonderful it's been great uh just uh, hanging out with you guys uh over the last uh, couple of times that i've been out there and just it's great uh, having you uh, in your support just a part of what we're doing here and uh just thank you for being you Love you and your family. Thank you so much for just being here, kicking off this great night here on Red's Room and CMS. All right, thanks. <laughs>